I'm Lynn Bowie, and this is a WJZ at your desk update. A series of attacks at the Inner Harbor have many on edge. There were two attacks on the same night at the Inner Harbor. An 18 year old, Trishel Mason, was with friends when they were jumped by a group of teens. He is hospitalized with his eye swollen shut. That same night, a family from New Jersey was also attacked. Police say no arrests have been made. The police disciplinary trial for Baltimore officer Caesar Goodson enters its third day. Goodson's accused of violating police policy and procedure while driving the van in which Freddie Gray was riding. During yesterday's hearing, Officer Edward Nero told the board Freddie Gray was not showing any signs of a medical emergency when he was first arrested and placed into the van in April 2015. Gray later died. Goodson was cleared of all criminal charges. An update on the local victim of the mass shooting in Las Vegas. Tina Frost is out of the intensive care unit. Her family says she was writing on a whiteboard and started walking on her own. She will remain in the hospital as she continues physical therapy. Frost lost an eye when she was shot in the head during the attack October 1st. Experts confirm an earthquake happened in Howard County over the weekend. A 1.5 magnitude quake occurred on Sunday. Geologists say it was centered about a mile southwest of Glenwood. Our media partner, the Baltimore Sun, reports no one reported damage, but many neighbors recalled hearing a loud thump when it occurred.